Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a video for you about Titanfall called Fad or Fixture. We're going to be posing the question, is Titanfall just a fad? Is this game going to die and disappear soon? Or is it a new fixture of FPS gaming? The gameplay that you're going to get to see is me playing CTF on Nexus. I'm using the car SMG with the counterweight so that I can do a lot of hip firing. And I'm not entirely sure of all these parkour routes, but I've seen them on the internet and I'm trying them as hard as I can. I'm playing 100% flag centric and I have an excellent game. I think I only die once near the very very end and yes I know there was a cloak guy beside me but I wanted to sneak past him and grab the flag and get out of the base before most of these clowns even know what is going on. But let's get back to the topic at hand. When Titanfall launched and even still it launched with a lot of goodwill. There was a lot of hype on this game, a lot of hope on this game, a lot of people really really wanting this game to succeed, really you know drinking the Kool-Aid and buying into it and I feel that unfortunately a lot of this wasn't necessarily hype behind the game Titanfall just you know, for the game itself being cool, but mostly anti-Call of Duty. Just, we don't want Call of Duty, we want Call of Duty out, gone, we hate Call of Duty. Only those who created it can uh, destroy it, that sort of mentality. It wasn't a Titanfall is awesome, it's a thank God I have something that's not Call of Duty to play. You know, thank God I have a game where only cool people like me will play and there will be no campers and no trash talkers, which is obviously not true. But that's kind of how the perception was. Lately, however, it's been dropping off a bit. It has really, really fallen down on Twitch. It was the number... I missed that rail so bad right there, that zip line. And, and that wall, I just had some severe parkouring fail. It was the number one game on Twitch for a couple of days before its release and then after its release. And then a couple of days later, it just dropped down to, like, number 20. It fell down below Call of Duty Ghost, which is, you know, near universally complained about now, unfortunately. And it slowed down on YouTube. The Titanfall commentaries haven't really picked up. There's a few channels for it, but it's not bumping, you know, really hard. It's not pulling the viewers in like Call of Duty or like, you know, Battlefield, some of the other FPS games are. And there have been some rumblings of low player bases. Now, I will say that low player base is definitely not on Xbox One. Titanfall is very busy on Xbox One, but surprisingly, the PC players are grumbling about the low player base, which I wouldn't think that would be the happen. I thought this would be like a really popular game on PC, but there's people talking about it potentially being dead in a couple of weeks or months on PC. I personally have not played on PC. I, uh, I I probably could. I'm decent at PC games, but I just got my Xbox One version. Didn't really feel like buying it twice, so that's the reason the PC version is just fine. And you find this sort of uh, duality of opinions on the game. You have some people saying this game is doomed because it's an Xbox One exclusive, because they went with the, the, you know, the peasant box, the fail console, the least popular console, that therefore the game is doomed and it can't reach its maximum potential if it had been a cross console or even a PS4 exclusive. And I kind of agree with that. Just numerically speaking, it would have sold more as a PlayStation exclusive. It certainly would have sold more if it was a multi-platform uh, thing. The marketing would have been much more effective. Or you have some people saying that this is the Xbox One savior. This is the this is the killer app for the Xbox, how the Xbox had Halo last time, they've got Titanfall now. Numerically speaking, just from the sales data we've got, that might be true. This game alone has doubled Xbox One sales. Nobody's buying Xbox Ones that don't come with a Titanfall bundle now. That's almost just not a thing. It's kind of crazy how that's working out funny. Uh, similar kind of thing for PC. A lot of PC FPS gamers feel like they haven't been catered to recently and they were hoping this was going to be the big you know, PC FPS for them, which some people think it is and some people think it wasn't. Uh, the sales were high for this game. Let's let's be honest about that. Titanfall had good sales, number one on BG charts, uh, on most reporting agencies, but I don't think they were high as predicted because it's funny that neither Respawn nor EA has released any sort of official sales data. Now usually companies like to release this to their investors and to pump up stock price, you know, make a press release like, Titanfall sells 80 bajillion copies, Call of Duty Ghost sells one, you know, billion dollars worth of merchandise on one day. This makes the stock price bump. This looks good for investors. It's one of the those kind of things. There hasn't been any of that from EA, which makes me kind of suspicious that maybe the sales were not as high as projections, and if sales are not at the uh, projected amount or higher, then it'll hurt stock price, so maybe they're not announcing it for that reason. Maybe I shouldn't even speculate about these things. I don't know what the uh, rules are about speculation on stock prices on console gaming videos are, but you would be surprised how ticky they can get. Um, but perhaps the best question to judge on if this game is uh, a fad, if it's going to pass, or if it's a new fixture of FPS gaming, is how often do you play it now? A lot of people I know played this game religiously when it first came out. It's still a new game. It's not even been out a full month yet. But how much do you play this game on a daily basis compared to how much you thought you would be playing it, or how much you played other games on the same sort of daily basis? 
most of my friends play it less often than I thought they would. Not to say they don't play it, that's totally not true, it still gets playtime, but I was kind of predicting like a crazy amount of playtime, just like tons and tons of play every single day. Didn't really pan out that way. This is a game that people boot up maybe an hour a day, maybe every other day. I don't, I really don't play it every day. I boot it up just when I feel like having fun, because it is a fun game. And uh, just, it's not that sort of, that crave, that every single day, that League of Legends kind of addiction, which is what you really want in a successful game. I'm going to get this guy over here. He thought he was going to get away, but we're not going to let him get away quite that easily. At this point, my gameplay is going to take a slight downhill turn, as I'm not able to get the flag captures that I want, and my parkour starts gumming up a little bit. I had a phone call, so unfortunately, you're going to get to see how I play uh, when I have a phone call. It's not as good as normal. That kind of concerns me, and when I ask people why they don't play this game as much as they play other games or as much as they thought they would play it, I get three very common responses. Number one shocked me, and that's that there was no campaign or very limited story, which was kind of confusing because the game was never marketed as having a campaign or a story. As far as I'm aware, it's pretty much always marketed as being a, a multiplayer game or a multiplayer only game, a lot like Battlefield. I mean, Battlefield had a single player, but uh, apparently that's a big deal. A lot of people felt totally shafted when they did not get a multiplayer, I mean a single player with this game. Like, I thought people would only buy games like Battlefield and just do the multiplayer and not the single player. Nope, a lot of people felt gypped because they didn't get what they consider to be a full package in a game, which is, I, I understand it, even though I don't really agree with it, I don't single player as much anymore as you've seen in previous videos. Uh, there is another complaint that there is limited titan selection, that they wanted more titans instead of just three, that just three is boring, or that the titans themselves actually get boring and repetitive, which is something that I was worried about before the game released, is that because you get them quickly, because you get them easily, that people wouldn't value them anymore, that they would only have that, that really cool oh my god titanfall moment just a couple of times before it gets really really repetitive and i believe that's kind of come true uh i think that i still think they should be a little bit harder to get than they are now or that you could be able to set people back from getting titans unfortunately that just wasn't part of the game balance and they just get a little bit repetitive like oh okay i've got a titan i guess i'll just you know smash some more people again whatever just do this all the time and the big issue the really really big one that i hear about all the time that i i again i didn't agree with at first but i'm beginning to see the perspective on is limited gun selection. This game has, I think, 13 primary weapons, or 13 total weapons, maybe, for your pilot. There's uh, three assault rifles, really only one of which is viable. The other ones are just, I just don't think they're very great. Uh, there's two SMGs, one light machine gun, and two sniper rifles that don't really, I don't think sniping is a very good tactic in this game. It's, it's okay for fun, it's just totally not <laughs> viable, really, if you want to get high school. And the smart pistol, which everybody likes to complain about, I find that there's a greater variety of weapons amongst the Titans. Even though there's only six total Titan weapons, the attachments that they have really, really change them up, and when you stack with the classes and stuff, it feels like there's a good variety of weapons with the Titans, whereas it doesn't feel like there's a lot of very viable weapons with the pilots. It's really only the R101C. Uh, the car SMG gets a lot of love, not not so much on the... Oh yeah, I forgot the shotgun. And the, uh, the Spitfire LMG, that's like 99% of what you see is just those three or four weapons. And while this isn't really an issue for me as a guy that, you know, started playing games back in Unreal and Counter-Strike and Quake and all that kind of stuff, you know, having a couple of really dominant weapons isn't such a big deal. But compared to something like Call of Duty or Battlefield with just tons and tons and tons and tons of weapons that just go on for days and each one of them is comparatively valid or uh, not, not, um, viable as the other one, that that is kind of a weakness and if I were in charge of this game if I were designing the next DLC if I were working on this I would add a mega gun pack I would add like 10 more guns I'd make them actually kind of hard to unlock just so that they don't get uh, I'm trying to punch this guy don't get unlocked easily and that's what I would do because I feel that there is a weakness there and that's there's just a lot of people that get a lot of joy of grinding and unlocking the guns and leveling up and getting more stuff and that this game doesn't have that it has movement nailed multiplayer balance nailed it has a fun factor it has an artistic factor it doesn't have a level up sort of drive well, i play this game purely for fun i don't have a desire to level up which kind of goes backwards against the other commentary i said the other day which means you should which i said you should play for fun and not grind for the levels but it doesn't give you the same kind of reward for playing like a lot of i'll just compare it to battlefield or call of duty like you get the really cool stuff no not really you really don't uh, Titanfall 2 has been announced already. That's I think that's a good thing. That's a strong indicator that we're moving to more toward fixture instead of fad, is that EA and Respawn have both had enough sales 
or you know generated enough goodwill that they believe that a sequel will make them more money or at least you know enough to warrant the risk Titanfall 2 is not going to be exclusive it is going to now this is what I have read on the internet I have no inside knowledge on this it's not going to be only Microsoft and PC there's gonna be Sony consoles it's gonna be pretty much everything they can put it on which is how I would have done it this time around but I'm not in charge of things and my decisions aren't valid <laughs> uh, so that'll be definitely a huge huge boon let's say you know this is very successful for the Xbox one it works on the PC you know, a couple of years come by, Titanfall 2 comes out on all consoles, and they have, you know, more stuff, more guns, more Titans, whatever. It could be a really huge, really successful game. It could That could really, you know, bring this home and make it a fixture, make it another set part of gaming culture and history. But as of right now, I don't think that. Right now, we're hanging on the fad. Uh, it's not moving toward fixture just yet, which kind of concerns me, because I have a lot of fun with this game. You see me post it on my channel a lot. It, it's a blasty blast for me. Uh, but it could definitely become a fixture if managed properly. I had, I had a really good ending here. I killed the flag guy, returned the flag, and scored for the win, which was a really great feeling. This is one of my first couple of games of CTF, and what I've been doing to prepare for it is kind of what I do for you guys. You know, I make guide videos so that you get better at this kind of stuff, and to prepare to play CTF, I just watched guides on really awesome PC player CTF parkour routes so that I'd get better at it, and I really think they helped a lot. You'll see the score here in a few minutes after we try and take out the dropship, I believe. I think I might have got my neck broke here at the end. I can't remember if I even survived to the dropship or not. But that's more or less the end of the commentary. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something useful. If you've made it down here, there is a link down in the description to a Titanfall Xbox One bundle giveaway from Gamma Labs. You go to their site and there's some things you can fill out and check on and uh, it'll enter you. And it's basically a giant raffle if you win. They'll ship it out. They're reputable. I'd appreciate it if you do that. If not, that's totally okay. If you're one of those master race guys that doesn't want to be seen gracing this this peasant box scene, that's okay, I understand you. And, um, oh yes, what is my score? Is that 16 pilot kills, 3 captures, bunch of assists, everything's good. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay commentary and everything else. Drifter out.